hello there. So as you guys asked for this next video, you wanted to see what I do like a day in the life when I'm back home with my family. But it turns out I'm going to London for a week tomorrow. So this is the only day that I can record and there's nothing happening. I had planned to take my booster board out and like show you around the area that we're living in at the moment, which is very nice. But it's raining and the last time I took the booster board out in the rain, I broke my ribs and nearly snapped my hip. <laughs> and to be honest, I don't want to do that again. So the only thing that I need to do today is pack my luggage for London and I'm staying there for five days? Five days. But other than that, all I'm going to do this video is try to entertain you somehow. Every time I film a video, I clean my room completely, but I couldn't clean it completely this time because there's a cat on the jacket I wanted to put away. One piece of interesting news is that I got given this hoodie this morning by a good friend and it is the comfiest hoodie I own in the world ever. It's amazing. He's got his own brand, it's called Making Statements. It's really good. There might be some exciting stuff happening in the future. Oh. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Just like you'd peel an orange. Okay, I think this video is gonna be a mixture of me packing my bag and showing you what I'm gonna take on like a week trip and playing some piano because I wanna practice some piano anyway. So let's start off with some packing. Oh, sorry, cat. The first thing you're gonna need is a suitcase. That always helps. I'd just rather have one too many pairs of underwear than one too little, do you know what I mean? Five pairs of socks. People always ask me why I only wear white socks and it's just like, I like them. And white socks are usually sports socks so they're usually more comfortable anyway. And if on a shoot they want me to wear black socks, they'll have black socks on the shoot, come on. Jeans. I'm actually only gonna bring one pair of jeans because it's only five days and I'm gonna wear them when I travel, so I don't need to pack them. I'm doing some sports when I'm there, so sports clothing. As you can see, packing is going amazingly over there. It's coming together nicely. I think it's time for a piano break. All right, I'm still learning. I'm not good at piano, by the way. This is just what I've learned. messed up once. That song is called That, because I don't know the name of it off by heart. Yes! Did you get it? It was A Hundred Years by Five of Fighting. Beautiful song. So I'm home alone with the cats today because my parents had like a proper sleepover at their, par at their friend's house. And that is a good way to live life. When I'm an adult, I want to be having sleepovers all the time. Quick update, this is still the comfiest hoodie I've ever worn. All right, t-shirts. I'm literally just taking like black and white t-shirts because if you're going somewhere for castings, which is what I'm doing, well, I don't see friends as well. If you're going somewhere for castings, it's kind of like recommended that you just wear like a plain black or white t-shirt because then there's just like nothing crazy going on when they take pictures. Unless they request that you wear something different. I have, on two occasions, had to go buy a suit last minute for a casting. And one of them, I couldn't fit it in my suitcase, so I don't have it. Anyway, I always roll up my um, clothes to pack because it's more efficient, I think. But you know, I'm all about efficiency, obviously. You can tell that from my consistent upload schedule on YouTube. And one of the main things I need to take is this. It's my model book. You wanna see it? I guess I'm not doing anything else this video, so you're gonna get to see it. I don't know why this is the first picture. It is literally my first test shoot, is my opening picture. There's surely better portraits of me than that. In books, you usually have like a lot of your like different editorials and stuff to like show that you are versatile. You know what I mean? So I've got lots of like editorial bits. There's 
There's me as a cowboy. There's me still as a cowboy. Here's me as a cowboy driving a van and smoking a cigarette. I actually had to drive the van and smoke the cigarette because I'm all about realism, boys. And girls. Whoa, oh, oh. You only get a little bit of that. It's not like those pictures are scattered across the internet or, you know, a little bit of a GQ cover. Mate, in this picture, you see the watch I'm wearing? That costs 135,000 euros. And there was like a bodyguard that brought the watch and was like staring at me while we were taking the pictures and he never left. And then as soon as I gave the watch back, he like ran off with it. That's the most expensive thing I've ever had on my body. There's a little yachting love story for all of you lovebirds out there. <laughs> funny story, well, it's not funny. I don't know why people say funny story when it's not funny. This is the suit that I wore in the Louis Vuitton campaign. And this isn't the Louis Vuitton campaign, this is just an editorial. And it was the same suit. There's a bit of GQ in the jungle. And there's the Louis Vuitton campaign, which was shot in India, of all places. One of the best experiences of my life. There's another portrait. That should probably be at the front of the book. I like that one more. Then a bit of Givenchy, and then some like, oh shit. Casting cards which have gone everywhere now. You see, in the industry, I'm just known as Reese because, well, there's no other Reese. There's like maybe one other Reese, but I'm the best Reese. I can't believe I just said that. I apologize to my friends, family, anyone associated with me that I have disappointed with that statement. All right, so that goes in the suitcase. Sorry for waking you up, cat. And now I am officially bored of packing again. So let's do some piano. This next one is from my favorite film, so. If you already know what my favourite film is, you know, well, obviously. You get the idea, it's the Interstellar soundtrack. And the last Reese's piano song you're gonna get today is this one. <laughs> God, I messed that one up, huh? Let's go for take two. This is the last song you're gonna get on Reese's piano moments. That's the way, it's not called that. It's not called Reese's piano. <laughs> Reese's piano time. Reese playing the piano for you on YouTube for some reason, even though he's not that good at piano. Yeah, that sounds right. Thank you for watching Reese's Piano Moment. <laughs> it's not. Thank you for watching Reese's Piano. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on Reese's Piano Moments. Okay, that is it. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. It's not a masculine mug, but I do not need to display my masculinity through the use of mugs. And it was the last mug, so I didn't really have a choice. All right, that is gonna be it for this video, which is probably making this one of the shortest videos on my channel. We'll see how I edit it. Obviously, I'm gonna bring the camera along to London. I'm gonna be doing a lot of fun stuff there. I've got a few friends there. I'm gonna be pretty busy with casting, so I'll show you all of that. If you somehow managed to enjoy this video, leave a like and leave a comment. Tell me how 
rubbish I am at piano. And I will see you tomorrow when I pick up my camera to for lo the London trip. Well, you won't see me tomorrow, but I, I'll see the camera tomorrow. Anyway, I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you next time. That's it, friend.